I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me, or Surrey? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I failed the order. Allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened. Which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Aether may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. I've tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. We're so close to victory. A few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did. Until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Ah! Ambush! Connor? A little help here? Bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. Tell you anything you want. Anything, only don't make We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then.
What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. <sighs> the other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. We should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British Crown or the Templar Cross. And I hope in time the Loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes. But you have shown me nothing. Then we'll have to remedy that, then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! No! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son, do you think me so soft that by calling me son, I might change my mind? How long do you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you. Charles Lee, no one at Dupa, Yasagoya Donhawe, cannot do good, no doh carat ni hardy. Nahoda, got no one in your honey, no. What desagodi dashtana, Zini hardy, are you keen who dahqua? Ya, ya, that curry hoyeri. On a jerry, did there's at Niku, are there? Ya, can't talk, there's a do hundoni negiga, ne ayaguaderio. Ah, no, no. 
Bernard Dogo. I don't have get him. The boss is done, Nick. It's a hoda. We're going to have glory near Charles Lee. What do you have to do? I don't have to do anything. I don't have to go easy. I'll say, you know what is it? I told you, I got wrong. I'm going to do something. 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 I don't know what this is, I want ducks out there, and I don't get that soon. Is that the risk? I'm going to do the risk, and I'm going to do the risk. 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 Charles Lee, Mountmouth, was at the hardship. I saw one at the masse. They no hold them but three hot. Run at the no uni. Jura saga. I saw one at the hot. Oh, dog, thank you, come on, dear Dio. Run at Dio, how hot the queen you. I'm going to get that summa. Oh, dear, I'm going to start to get. I wehre ya na wando thain gwa ya ta nostadu me. Ona wa sadare sa yun jadaro. Sacrifices your brothers have made today must not. Connor, my friend, you have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That batard. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rise away. I am left to pick up the pieces. I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. That should slow them down. Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the loss would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you.